Hi. Here comes everybody. Hi. Hello. Okay. Let's get this video. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Tracy. I'm Carolyn. Nice to meet you. You too. You have great white, beautiful teeth and an awesome <laughs> smile. Love Thanks. it. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. <laughs> Love it. Um, nice to meet you. Okay. So for everyone who is coming on, if you put your cursor at the bottom, you can stop your video if you rather would be uh, unanimous or hide behind um, your screen. I have a question. Um, all right, good. We've got more and more people coming on. I love it. And while we are all kind of coming on, I'm just going to make sure that the PowerPoint is ready. Hey, Deanna. Hi, Heidi. Hi. Who do I know here? Hi. Let's see. Stephanie's on. Hi, Stephanie. And lots of phone numbers. I don't know. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tracy. All right, let's see. All right. Everyone see the slideshow? Give me a thumbs up if you can, just to make sure that I know we've got it. Heidi, okay, cool. All right, I have a question. Yes. I have no screen except for my cell phone. That's okay. You can listen, and I'm going to record this so you can go back and look at the slides if you'd like. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to stop my share. All right. I'm going to give it one more minute, you guys, and let a few more people hop on before we get started. <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hi. Got a mint in my mouth. Hi, how are you, Carolyn? I'm great, honey. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see your face live and not just talk to you on the phone. <laughs> oh my god, why can't I see anything? Oh. Okay. Yeah, everyone can hear me. <laughs> yes. We hear you. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to get started, everybody. So um, before we start, I'm Tracy Balderach, and I'm one of the coaches that's going to be um, sharing tonight. There's a few coaches on the team that I would probably like randomly call out because I have literally come straight from an aquatics banquet where I've been shoveling barbecue to 175 children over hot sternos. So, so I did not have time to call these coaches and say, I need you to talk about X, Y, and Z. So I'm probably just going to pull them out and just put them on the spot and that's good for them. It helps them stretch and grow anyway. So one thing that really helps these Zoom calls is if you could put your phone on mute I totally understand that we have kids and we have pets and we have spouses and we have friends and we have roommates and sometimes the background noise can get a little crazy. So there will be time for um, FAQ at the end. Um, but really my goal is to get through this in about 45 minutes to give you guys a little bit of background. Our team usually does a five day sneak peek and that is a private group in Facebook. For those of you that have done um, um, challenge groups with us before. Um, it's sort of like that. And we would ask for 10 to 15 minutes a day in Facebook, you do your homework. And that has worked out really well. We've been doing those for probably 15 or 16 months. And we are all about like being innovated and changing things up. And we thought, why not try to do one of these five day sneak peeks in a 45 minute call, throw it out there. And anybody who thinks they might be interested in coaching, We'll know at the end of this call, yes, this is something that excites me and that I want to jump into, or no, it's not for me, because coaching is not for everybody. So that's how we came upon um, trying this out. This is our first inaugural coaching call. We could not have done it at a crazier week, because most of us who are coaching already on this call are leaving for Nashville in two days, and we are in total summit mode. So we're like, why not make it a little bit crazier and throw in a coaching opportunity call? But we're all revved up and excited about our meeting, so actually there's no better time for us to be talking about coaching. 
done this week. So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to share you, um, a little bit of what we do. Hopefully everybody can see the PowerPoint. So give me a thumbs up. I see Dina. Give me a thumbs up. Yep. Deanna. Great. Okay. So what is coaching? We're really going to talk about, um, a lot what the, um, what the opportunities are, what the myths are. Um, there are a lot of them, but let me just start off because a lot of you don't know who I am or who team faithfully fit is. Um, so I want to share that with you guys in one second. Okay. Um, perfect. All right. So I am, um, I am 41 and I have four children. My children are eight, seven, five, and two and a half. And I am, um, I've been a coach for two years. And the way that I got started with coaching is because I had my fourth baby. Um, she was four months old. We had prayed for this child. We had really wanted to have a fourth baby. There were lots of complications that went with that pregnancy, lots of stress that went with that pregnancy. And um, when she finally arrived, I just found that it was a little bit stressful. And if everybody could put their, put their phone on mute, that would be super helpful. So there's not a lot of background noise. Um, if you guys don't know where that is, it's in the lower left-hand corner of your screen and the mute button will come up. Awesome. Thank you, Kira. Okay. So I was totally stressed out. I was um, exhausted. Um, that picture of me pregnant with number four, I literally was like sitting down panting, bathing my kids. Um, I just, I put some pictures on here about what my life was like. I was so busy and unplanned that I was binge eating. Um, that picture right there is like an ordinary night. That was like an appetizer that I had set out for my husband. I had like eggnog. It was during Christmas, all that cheese. I remember I, I ate the entire loaf of cheese, that, that pink one in the middle with the nuts on it. I ate that whole thing. I, 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 I and I hadn't eaten all day and I sucked the eggnog down and all that cheese and that was like my dinner and that's sort of how I fueled my body and it was literally like living sort of in a way of just trying to survive um, I just was really inconsistent there were definitely moments in between the four kids that I was really consistent with my health and fitness and then there were definitely a lot of moments where I wasn't um, I definitely did not sleep enough um, I definitely, I would say probably drank wine, um, five to six nights a week. Um, I was just really overwhelmed. Um, that picture on the bottom with the baby on my back, I just remember feeling like there was never any time for me. I always had a child attached to me. I always had something to do. And even that picture of me with the hat on right there, which was sort of relaxing, it was relaxing on a winter day. I just don't see the kind of joy that I see with myself now that I've decided to take care of myself. So what happened was I was stuffing my face with cake pops. I was, I saw my reflection in the mirror. I hadn't eaten dinner. Um, I had like six cake pops. That was my dinner. I looked at the reflection and I was like, something's got to change. Like something has got to change. It wasn't the 30 pounds of weight that I had gained. It was the way that I felt and the way that I was treating people because of how I was not taking care of my body. So now, now that I've been coaching and this is my current self and my future self, it's, it's more energy. I handle my stress management much better. Um, the picture of me working out in the very top, I work out when I go on vacations now. That's like a non-negotiable. Like I love to work out on vacations. It's part of my lifestyle now. Um, that's my youngest in the top right corner. She is an early riser. I get up and do my workouts in the fall during the school year. I'm up at 4.15 with my husband and we do the workouts in the summer. I do them at 5.30 when May wakes up. She hangs out with me and we just have an awesome time. She copies me. Um, that's our family down there um, in the picture at the parade. We're like, we go, we go, and we have fun, and we're out, and we do things. And it didn't used to be that way when I was totally exhausted. Um, the picture in the bottom was a traveling job from, um, in January, we went to a Team Beachbody um, leadership event. We travel, we are able to get away from the kids, I'm able to focus on just things that mean something to me. Um, I just hit my mark, so you see that picture in the bottom right. 
Um, and that is me just being like two years. I'm in it. I'm more joyful. I'm more positive. I'm surrounded by these amazing coaches that I'm going to talk to you about a little bit in terms of our team. And it's just a whole different ball of wax in terms of what my life was like two years versus what my life is like now. And I know every coach on our team has a similar story. So it's not just me, I promise you. Um, let's talk a little bit about our team for a second. Mm -hmm. um, and this is where I'm going to call on a couple different coaches. Um, our team has um, almost 500 in our network, Team Faithfully Fit. Um, we are all different. Some of us are teachers. Some of us are pediatricians, personal, um, personal trainers, some work on Wall Street, um, some are traveling corporate um, internet executives, some are um, stay-at-home moms, some are um, in med school, some basically are you know, just working part-time. But we all come from different arenas and we all encourage one another in a very tight group of women that actually some of us have never met each other. So in Nashville, I'm looking at this picture, there is one coach from California who I talk to every day. I have never seen her skin to skin. I'm about ready to say hello to her for the first time. There's a group of three sisters, two of whom I've never met before that live north in Connecticut. I've never met them before, but I talk to them all the time. So we are gonna spend some time together learning how to coach, how to serve people, we're gonna get trained. But I feel like these women are my sisters. I feel like they are my business partners. They hold me accountable. They push me. And there's, there's just a really cool vibe that goes with surrounding yourself with people who are constantly making you better. Um, I'm going to call on Heidi for a minute because Heidi is one of the coaches on our team who actually just retired from corporate America. I've known Heidi for 18 years. She was one of my first hires when I was a brand new director of business operations for an IT recruiting company. And Heidi was one of my rock star recruiters. She moved into sales. Um, she eventually went off to go work at another um, company to go do um, leadership management as a vice president. And she just quit in July so she could stay home with her two girls. And I just want to give Heidi a couple minutes to talk about what the team means to you. Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Heidi Laws. And yes, uh, Tracy is right. I spent, was in corporate America for a little over 17 years and um, was coaching on top of working full time and traveling for work with two girls uh, for about, I guess, a year and a half or so. It's a little bit over a year and a half. And um, so it definitely shows that you can do it when you're really passionate about something, you can do it. Um, if it wasn't for just the team camaraderie, um, the synergy, the positivity, the motivation, um, I, I can't even tell you how much the team has meant to me. And Tracy made a point to say that we haven't met each other. Like I know Tracy, but most of the people on the team I've never even met in person. And yet you build this this connection, even though we all have different situations, different careers, different day jobs, whether it's staying home, working outside the home, whatever it may be, all different ages of kids. Some of us don't have kids. Um, some of us are retired. And so with all these different backgrounds, somehow we all come together and we just have something in common. And that's just live a healthier life and be happier as, as a person. And then we just have a, a love of helping other people do the same thing. So if it wasn't for this team, there is no way I would have ever even considered retiring from corporate America and being able to believe in what this opportunity can give you. So yes, now I work from home with my kids. I create my own schedule on my own time. I am enjoying every minute of it and I'm very blessed to be a part of the team. Awesome. Thank you so much, Heidi. So one thing that we did, which I really loved, is I asked every team member today to write down one word that will help them describe what coaching has been to them. Because coaching means something to every person a little bit different. Um, for me, it might be something different than Kira, than Dina, than Deanna, than Heidi. And so a lot of the words literally just got an emotional cord with me because I know how um, so many of these people have been impacted by the way that they can help others. And so just wanted to read off some of the words that um, 
the people on our team wrote. And they wrote um, inspiring, believing, inspirational, fulfilling, motivating, exhilarating, unlimited, infinite, giving, growing, connecting, purposeful, invigorating, and courageous. And those are some of the words that they use just to describe what coaching is because it's much more than signing someone up to drink some Shakeology and do a workout. Right. I mean, obviously you have some of those challengers, that's all they want. Um, but there are also some of those challengers where it's truly a life moving experience. And when you have that first challenger that is literally their life is completely changed for the better and you had a small portion of something to do with it, that's where you're like, I got to keep helping people. I got to keep doing this. Um, faithfully fit. Our team is going to help you when you come on. It's not a hard job. Anybody can be a coach if you're courageous and you're willing to share your story. Um, but there is a lot to learn. So it's not, I always say to brand new coaches, it's not a hard job, but the learning curve is definitely three to four months for sure before your head stops spinning and you're like, oh, I, I sort of feel like I know what I'm doing. Um, we give you a 10 day getting started right training. That is through Facebook and we ask for 20 minutes a day and that training is designed to help you understand what to do with your business. How do you get started? It's 10 days and by the end of that 10 days, you know how you can basically set up shop. If you think of it like you're gonna go, you know, find some real estate in your downtown and set up your business. Um, once you're done with your getting started right, um, your personally sponsored coach, which is the person that invited you on this call, will probably set up getting started right calls with you. I usually ask my coaches, how do we want to do this? Do you, are you the type that wants weekly calls? Do you want once a month calls? Do you want phone calls? Do you want Zoom calls? Do you want to meet for coffee if we're local? How do you want to do this? Every single person has their own pace of growth and it also decides you know it also depends on what kind of business they decide that they want to run and we're going to talk about that toward the end of the call um, once you move to a rank where you're what we call emerald coach there is an emerald to diamond training and that is like a training 2.0 that is also a 10-day training that is also a training that we um we ask for probably 25 minutes a day. It's a lot of information, but by the time you get done with that training, you have all the tools you need to really run a business if you're what we call a business builder, somebody that wants to make this a career. Um, we have a Facebook team page just for our team. Um, we have bi-weekly Zoom calls, very much unlike what we're doing right now where it's training. We will talk about social media and how to use that for your business. We will talk about Instagram. We will talk about how to run a fantastic challenge group. We will talk about objections that you get from people maybe that are having a tough time. We, we talk about every single thing and usually we, we go with like what is the team feeling like they need to focus on. Um, we're going to go to weekly calls once we get into the fall just because the team is getting so big and there's a lot of newer coaches that are needing more Zoom calls. And so I do not run those calls every week. Um, Dina is actually running our next call. Um, Kira has run calls. Heidi has run calls. So any of the coaches that are up and coming leaders are going to run calls for our group. If you go through Emerald to Diamond training, you have to sign up to run a Zoom call. That's one of the assignments. Um, and a lot of times we'll ask you to run something, a training on something you don't know, and it pushes that coach out of their comfort zone to learn it and to present it and Kira did that for us with Instagram the other um, the other month and it was phenomenal and she's gone from 150 followers on Instagram to 500 followers in two months time because she was pushed to learn Instagram and she was willing to take that step and teach the rest of the team so um, we have an application called Voxer on the telephone so for those of you that might be working full-time and don't have time to be on Facebook maybe you don't you don't have access to Facebook you can have Voxer, which is on your cell phone. It is like a walkie-talkie. Um, I won't go into the details on Voxer, but it is like a godsend for our team. Any two seconds, if you go to the bathroom, you can hear a message from one of the coaches, and you can reply in two seconds, and it's basically voice messaging, and you can get a lot of questions answered. So we try to offer a lot of different support for brand new coaches so that they're able to get the support they need and be successful right off the bat based on what their personal goal is because everyone's goals are different. 
just to give some of you a little bit of a background on Beachbody. So Beachbody was founded by Carl Deichler and John Condon, and it started back in 1998 off of infomercials. So this cracks me up because I remember in 2009, I was pregnant with my second child. Um, every Wednesday night, I would have one of my husband's friends over for dinner. He was in New York City working a consulting gig, and he was really lonely, missed his family. So I was like, every Wednesday, I will cook you dinner. Come on over. And he would come over, and all he would talk about was P90X. That's all he would talk about. And I was like, what is this P90X? He would talk about Tony Horton. He would talk about working out at home. He would talk about all these things. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. If I don't know. I, work, I live in a New York City apartment. I'm not sure. Then as the time went on, he started talking about insanity. And I never knew Beachbody, but I knew P90X. I knew insanity. Then I heard of T25. So a lot of times people might not have ever heard of Team Beachbody, but if you start asking them, have you heard of Shalene Extreme? Have you heard of Turbo Fire? Some of the original founding workout programs that started off with an infomercial-based business, a lot of people would hear about that. So what happens is Carl Deichler and John Condon are like, you know what? Something is missing because a lot of these people in their homes that are trying to get fit, that are starting Insanity or starting P90X are not finishing the programs. So what can we do in order to get them to finish the programs? And they decided in 2007 to come up with the MLM or the multi-level marketing coaching opportunity to fill that void. So the coach comes in and the coach helps with an accountability factor so that people can get their workout program, they can get a nutritional meal plan, and they can have the accountability. So if you have the fitness, if you have the nutrition, if you have the accountability, the void is filled and more and more people started to have success. So that's how the network marketing began. Um, one of the things I love about um, Team Beachbody is anybody who's in the military or a veteran, active duty or a veteran, um, Carl Deichler's father and Tony Horton's father were both ex-military. And so anybody who's in the military or a veteran, they do not have to pay the $15 business fee. For those of you that are on the call that are coaches, you pay $98 as a coach for your Shakeology. You pay $15 for your discount fee. Anybody who's a military or a veteran does not have to pay that $15 fee. So I love that they're always looking for ways to um, honor America, the opportunity that we have, and the fact that this is a position that you get out of it what you put into it. It's totally back to the American dream of if you want something and you want to build it, the opportunity is there, but you have to be willing to put in the work. Um, coaching. So coaching is really about real people and real transformations. So every single picture that you see on here is a coach. Some of them are sharing coaches, which is someone like myself. I'm a business builder. This is my career. This is something that I do. Some of the coaches on here, they just kind of want to pay for their family vacations, um, or they just want to have a discount on the product that they've been using for a long time. Um, all of us have come from different um, journeys um, different levels of fitness when we started. Um, but coaching is really about transformations, um, about growth. It's about creating freedom. Um, it's about being able to have opportunities to travel. Um, it's about creating friendships with your challengers and with the coaches that decide that they want to coach with you. Um, some of these pictures, so this is one thing, like I never ever in a million years thought when I started coaching, I, I literally signed up as a discount coach. So that means I was somebody that was like, okay, guys, I have 30 pounds to lose. I resisted coaching forever. I resisted Shakeology. I resisted at-home workouts. Um, it was my best friend from high school that had talked to me about it for like six or seven months. I gave her every excuse in the book. And finally, I was like, okay, I've gone to the gym like four times, and I keep getting paged at Equinox because the baby has a dirty diaper. And every time I'm done with my workout or my warm-up in my workout, I'm getting paged. And then by the time I come back, I've like lost my spot, you know? So I was like, give me something to try, but I do not have any time. I'm totally overwhelmed. As I told you guys in the beginning, I was a stress case. I literally don't think I've ever been more stressed in my life after I had number four. So I 
started off as a discount coach because I was like, I know I need Shakeology and I know I need a workout program and I know I need a minimum of three months. So I don't want to pay full price. Tell me what I need to do. So I signed straight on as a coach. I agreed that I was going to do T25. It was a 60 day program, 10 weeks, actually a 10 week program. I decided that I was going to stick with that. And I decided that I was going to drink my Shakeology every day. Over time, I lost 30 pounds. Over time, people started asking me what I was doing. And what happened was, is me thinking to myself, oh, well, I'll just get my shakes paid for, turned into this opportunity that the more I prayed about, what should I do about this? People keep asking me, people want help. Other moms that are struggling, or even people who weren't moms or not parents were like, how are you doing that with four kids? How are you getting fit? They all needed something. And so the more that I thought about it, talked about it, um, prayed about it, it just, I just took it one day at a time. Um, the travel has been incredible. What financially I've been able to provide has been amazing. We went to Turks and Caicos together as a family for spring break. Um, that top right picture was California when we went um, to San Diego after a leadership event. Um, that was the actual leadership event where I'm on my balcony. I was like so excited to be in a hotel room by myself for three days. It was like the first time I'd ever been alone in such a long time after four kids. So I literally was like, I have to take a picture of this. And so my husband that I am on a balcony alone and cherishing the quiet time. Um, so let's talk a little bit about compensation. Um, I know that compensation is not going to be the main driver for everybody. But for some people, it's the number one driver. So I always hesitate a little bit talking about compensation for a few reasons. One, I want to make the disclaimer up front. This is not a get rich quick business. If you feel like this is a business where you're going to come in and just make quick money, that's not it. It's not a job. You have to think of it as like somebody is giving you, like I tell myself this, like pretend like someone is giving you $100,000 to start a business and you need to basically pay that money back and it's going to take a ton of work and it's going to take a ton of time of you working for free before you start to pay that back. So if you have the mindset like, I'm building something and I'm building a business and I always tell my husband, I'm like, I'm trying to get the Boeing off the ground. When I first started, I'm like, I'm working a lot. I'm sweating a lot. I'm trying to get that airplane off the ground. That's the mentality to have. You work a lot in the beginning for nothing. Just like any startup, you talk to any entrepreneur, you work a lot in the beginning for nothing. But I really feel like if you think of it like a compounding business, if you think of it like you're putting $10, $10 every week from your paycheck into your savings account and what happens week after week, month after month, year after year, that's how Beachbody is. It's a duplication business. So... Some of these coaches, like the one on the right I love, this was a post that this coach wrote in um, a specific leadership group of coaches, and um, she was not consistent. And you can see in March, her first year in the business, she was averaging $23 a week. And then her second year, $35 a week. And then her third year, $143 a week. So that's a coach that's probably a hobby coach. They're kind of dabbling. They're kind of not sure. Maybe she had another full-time job. Um, and then you can see that, you know, she, she doubled her income in 2012. This is weekly averages. Um, and she did okay in 2013 on a weekly average. But then you see what happened week 14 or year uh, 2014, 15, and 16. When she got consistent with her business, she is a self-prophesized person that says, I slacked off for four years. So here's the key with the coaching is that you have to do the vital behaviors, which are working out, drinking your Shakeology, sharing your journey, doing personal development. If you're doing those things day after day after day, your business will compound. Inviting people to challenge groups, inviting people to calls like this. Um, these are not easy things for coaches to do. Um, but when you start coaching and you understand the, the, the value that it can bring your own life, then it turns into you're inviting people because you truly feel like you're inviting them to receive a gift because you yourself have already received it. Um, the girl on the right, she's a brand new mom. She just um, had a baby in February. She's been coaching for six years. And again, you can look at her weekly income. 
January 2010, her first, you know, she didn't make anything. She, she sort of was probably just a discount coach trying to work on her own health and fitness. And then you can see a year later, 167 a week. 2014, she's making 7,000 a week. 2016, she's making 18,000 a week. So the coaches that are um, definitely excited about looking at the big picture of possibility, um, the ones that are excited about talking to others, about coaching and inviting other coaches to also share the business, they grow. And one of the benefits is, is that any coach that, um, let's say you bring on a coach, you will definitely make volume off that coach, but guess what? That coach makes volume off you too. So what I love about the Beachbody coaching opportunity is that it's binary. It's not the pyramid scheme or the Ponzi scheme that I personally thought it was in the beginning. I was like, no way, I'm not doing any sort of Team Beachbody. But once I actually opened up the business plan and read through it, I asked my husband to read through it. I'm like, I actually think this sounds like something that I could sink my teeth into. And the thing I loved best about it was the team atmosphere. So if I bring on Susie Jo as a coach and she brings on five coaches, I make volume on those coaches and so does Susie. But guess what? If I'm adding people, after I add Susie to my network, Susie's going to make volume on my coaches too. So Susie and I are definitely working together to make sure that we're both growing because we both financially benefit from every coach that's added. So that's one of the really cool things I love. Um, we are part of a, um, a downline, so Shred Nation. Uh, as you see, Rob and Chelsea, they are a married couple. Both of them work the business full time. Um, we are a basically business unit under yeah. the Shred Nation, um, and Rob and Chelsea have um, 8,000 coaches in their organization. So 500 of their 8,000 are Team Faithfully Fit, and you can see them, um, the progress that they've had just in their annual salary um, year after year after year in terms of their weekly average. And again, you can see that it took a lot of time. And Chelsea actually doesn't even list here the first two years that she was literally like making no money. So I always say, and Heidi can probably attest to this, I've got you know a couple other coaches that are full-time uh, working coaches. It's hard in the beginning because you're, you're managing a full-time job and you're managing maybe kids or you're managing a household or you're managing roommates or you're managing you're living with parents whatever it might be you're managing your own life and it's really difficult to figure out where you're going to fit in pockets of time but the smart coaches are the ones that are like okay let me think about my life two years three years four years out and what do i want for my life in two three four years out and how do i get my goals to align with that and a lot of coaches that end up being really successful from a financial standpoint, the ones that are making seven grand, 12 grand, 18 grand a week, they had to find the pockets and the snippets of time while they lived their life building their business. And it's challenging to do, but the reason why the people that make it to 18 grand a week make it is because they're able to be that type of person to figure out how to do it. And it takes a lot of strategy and it takes a lot of time management and it takes a lot of discipline. And you have to think of like, what am I willing to give up to do this? What am I willing to give up to have X, Y, Z three years down the road? Do I stop watching TV at night and sitting on the couch? Maybe. Do I wake up an hour earlier than I already am? Maybe. Do I give up a date night with my husband on Thursdays? Maybe. Do I give up a girl's night out? Maybe you have to think of like, where are the areas that you have to give up? Because every person that's been able to be successful in this business had to find something in their life they were willing to sacrifice for the greater good of what their goal was. Okay, so here are your coaching options. There are three different types of coaches. Um, we have discount coaches or another great word for these coaches is your rewards coach. Um, these are people, maybe some of you on this call right now are discount coaches. You just love the Beachbody product. You drink your Shakeology daily, or at least you try to. You don't sell. You don't help others. You just don't want to pay retail, right? You save $16 to $22 a month, depending on what the shipping is um, in your state. And um, you're happy 
using the products that you've been using for months or years and you just enjoy your discount. You save $100 every six months and you're happy to use that 100 bucks for something else in your life. Hobby coaches. So hobby coaches, maybe you have a full-time job that you enjoy. Um, maybe you have a full-time job you don't enjoy and you'd like to sort of maybe have an option to get out of that. Maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you're looking for something to do when your baby naps. Um, maybe you are a landscaper. I've got one gentleman who's a landscaper. He's so busy in the spring and the summer, but the winter and the fall, he coaches. And he does it as a hobby to earn extra income during that time. Um, hobby coaches, they share their journey. Um, they invite others periodically. They're not consistent usually with the business. Um, they make spending money. Maybe they want to do something decorative in their home. Maybe they want to pay for a vacation. Maybe they need a new wardrobe. Uh, maybe they want to pay their electric bill. Um, they run support groups occasionally, maybe every three months, four months, they'll run a, they'll run a challenge group for the people they've signed up. Um, but hobby coaches, that's sort of like what they do. They just dabble a little bit. Business builders. Those are people that are all in, right? So those are people um, like myself, if you have a coach that invited you to this call, that coach most likely is a business builder. Um, they're building for financial freedom. Um, they are recruiting coaches. They are talking to other people about, I think you'd be a great coach. I think you could impact others because of X, Y, Z. Um, they're leaders. They're constantly focusing on their personal development. How can they be a better leader? How can they be more motivated? How can they have a positive outlook on life? That's our, our one of our vital behaviors is personal development. Business builders are focusing on growing themselves. Um, I wrote financial freedom twice <laughs> in this bullet. So clearly business builders are looking to earn financial freedom. Um, and they're, they're training. They're going through different trainings. They're going through star diamond trainings or emerald to diamond trainings and they're making themselves better. I want to just be clear before I move off the slide that every single kind of coach is beneficial and valuable. The business builders, obviously, I can relate to those because that I can really relate to any of them because I've been all three, but that's what spoke to my heart after I'd been a discount coach for a while and I was like, wow, these products I'm work. To a I lost and then I'm I was a hobby coach and I dabbled and then I made the decision to go all for in. The thing. So I have a heart and understand all of these. Um, what I think you need to do is figure out what kind of coach you want to be. How do you want to build your business? We are parents, we are moms, we are dads, we are singles, we are grandparents, we are regular people. We dream, we are entrepreneurs, we are proud of our business, um, we're leaders, we work. The ones that go far in this business, we are workers. We know how to put our head down and grind, but we encourage, we motivate, um, we go to sleep thinking about our challengers, we wake up thinking about our challengers, we are go-getters, and we are all about accountability. We want accountability for ourselves. We want accountability with our challengers. And we want accountability to push our coaches on our team to do more and to do better. Um, we're not get rich quickers. We do not beg people for the opportunity. People that don't want to do this, it's not for everyone. You'll never see any of us begging because you want to run with the willing. You want the people that want to lock arms with you and run with you. And it's not for everybody. Not everyone is willing to do some of the things that you have to do to be a coach, or they're not willing to put themselves out there on social media. We're not hunters. We're not gonna go for, you know, look for people and hunt them down. Um, and we're definitely not salesy. And if any of us on this call have been, please confront us and let us know so we can change. But we are not any of those things, nor do we wanna be those things. We usually find our best coaches the best coaches are usually the ones that have had some sort of transformation. Either their bodies have been transformed or maybe they've been mentally transformed. Like they woke up out of a fog after years and years. Or maybe it was a self-esteem thing. They've like had terrible self-talk their whole life and all of a sudden because they've been working on themselves and they're surrounded with positive people, they are able to really 
just see themselves in a different light and that ripple effects into all areas of their life. And that's, that's a transformation. So the people that have had a mental, emotional, a spiritual transformation, even there's been people that have literally had a different talk. relationship with God because of the way that they got for the 21 day. So it's like really list. amazing list. how different transformations allow for people to understand, okay, I've had a transformation. How can I pay this feeling forward? That's usually how you find coaches. There are definitely coaches that have joined the team because of the business opportunity. Um, but most of the time it's because there's been some sort of a transformation. Okay. So I'm wrapping this up. I can't believe it. I'm actually on schedule. I know the ones that know me are probably like in awe that I'm on, on track. Um, but if you've gone through this presentation, and you're like, cool, sounds good. Now what? Uh, message the person that invited you to this call and figure out what kind of coach you want to be. Maybe you're a discount coach and you're like, you know what? I think I'm just going to stay a discount coach. Maybe you are, you've never done a challenge group and you're like, let me start off with a challenge group. Let me sign on as a coach. Let me put one post out there on Facebook and see if I can get anyone to come with me. Maybe I'm going to ask my, you know, 17 best friends from college if they want to try a workout program. It's whatever works for each person. Um, but let your personally sponsored coach walk you through the sign up process. If you're a discount and a hobby coach, get involved with your next coach's challenge group. I know there's a challenge group starting on August 8th. Maybe you want to make a cameo appearance. Maybe you want to do a video for a challenge group. Maybe you want to actually coach a challenge group and just see how that feels to coach a challenge group and to actually have a challenger in that group that you hold hands with and you say, okay, I'm in this with you. 21 days, I'm going to help you. Maybe you decide tonight, you're like, something spoke to my heart. I want to be a business builder. I want to make a change in my life. I want something to be different. Talk to your coach about the next Getting Started Right training. That training starts August 1st. It's for all people who are interested in setting up shop and trying it out. So maybe you want to be a business builder and you're scared and that's normal and you feel nervous, but you're like, you know what? I'm going to go for it and see what happens. Talk to your coach about that. We will match your pace. Like I said before, every coach is valuable, but there is no way that I'm ever going to take a coach and drag them with me. And I know I speak the same for all the coaches that are on the call, but we're not going to drag you with, with us. We will just follow your pace based on the kind of coach that you want to be. Um, so I hope that gives you guys a little bit of understanding on coaching or more than it was when you guys first jumped on this call. I'm going to open it up really quick for any FAQs and I'm actually going to let the coaches on our call answer the FAQs. Anyone have any? And that's okay if there's no questions. Because you did such a good job, Tracy. <laughs> what an encourager. See, I told you they were encouragers. Okay, guys, that's all I have for tonight. I want to be, I want to honor your time. I appreciate every single person that sat on this call tonight. Um, it was recorded. So if you guys have, if you missed a little bit of it, ask your personally sponsored coach to send you the link of the recording. Um, you can always ask me for questions. I know all the, um, all the Faithfully Fit members on the team are happy to answer questions. And we're just excited that you guys were on the call. And if you're someone that wants to join the team, we would love to have you, to train you, to encourage you, and to help you get your goals. So thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.